combat robot is its batteries. Okay. This is this is an important piece of doing all of this, and an area where we've had some issues lately. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do for this version of the robot is a little different than something I've done before. Um, so I've got a, a special 3D printed uh, arrangement to hold the batteries. This particular material is a flexible um, print filament and so it should provide some measure of cushion for the batteries um, but also should keep them secure and stable in there so we don't have any problems. Um, so that was that was the game plan with this right here. So uh, for right now these are the batteries that I'm planning on using and they're, they're basically uh, slide in something like that so there's no motion there's no way that they can move around whatnot gonna have some bolts that run down through the entire robot top to bottom and so it's gonna bolt through the bottom armor panel and bolt into the top so they'll be secured top and bottom and that way so there's just no way for it to move around um, and I think I think this will turn out okay. Um, I actually wouldn't mind having more capacity than this. And there's enough room in here to do four of those packs instead of two. Um, I'm worried about weight at this point in time. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble it and test it with this. And uh, down the road, if we have weight to do more, then I'll worry about that then. For right now, I think this will this will cover our needs. Um, so let's go ahead and, you know, get these mounted in and then we can kind of figure out where we're going from there. box is in place and the bolts are in place. So part of this design is we'll bolt, bolt the box to the bottom and so that'll be a solid arrangement that doesn't move and then there'll be another series of nuts on top holding the top of this box to the top armor panel so that it's sandwiched top and bottom in there so it's held really well. So, um, so the first thing we need to do is just sort of Tighten this guy in place where he's at, and then figure out the, the mount height to get the armor in place on top of that. So let's, let's. mounted securely but it does have a bit of flex to it so that should help protect the batteries keep them from getting damaged. Then the armor panel is going to sit on top mounted kind of like that but I don't want to just tighten this down because it's not tightening against anything so what I need is actually a nut on the back side that sits there that so when you tighten the ones on top you're tightening it against a nut so that it stays sturdy because things move around a lot in combat. So the way this is this is mounted is now solid top and bottom into the armor. So the armor is holding the battery box exactly precise and it doesn't have any any ability to move around in there. Um, which should help protect the batteries. They should be should hold together better. So uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, actually pretty good with how all this turned out. Uh, the sad part is if I decide I have weight and room for more batteries, I'll have to do all this again and redesign it all again. But uh, 
for us it sits right now this will work for testing and whatnot so I guess uh, next thing is to get some batteries in it and get it all wired up and hopefully do some testing get it uh, get it running and drive it around see how it works